Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. This is a concise, well-crafted summary and it highlights only the important keywords. Insulin secretion and we'll be looking at the factors which increase and which uh, increasing the insulin secretion as well as which inhibits the insulin secretion. So first let's look at what increases it. Increases by the glucose. The glucose, it increases the insulin secretion that is most potent factor and also the glucagon. Then comes the AA that is amino acids, also the long chain uh, fatty acids. Then comes the sympathetic, the sympathetic discharge. Your sympathetic discharge, there is a beta adrenergic uh, stimulators. Beta adrenergic stimulators, they increase the insulin, they increase the insulin secretion. Then when you look at the parasympathetic, the parasympathetic, there will be the vagal uh, stimulation as well as the acetylcholine. So vagal stimulation, acetylcholine, they increase the insulin secretion. Insulin secretion. Now insulin hormones, in, increase incretin hormone. So here the incretin hormone, there is a GI hormones like the glucagon like pedicin. Glucagon like uh, peptide. So glucagon peptide, there is one and the gastric. So there is one and the gastric inhibitory peptide. This increases the insulin secretion. And there is also the theophylline. Next, let's look at the factors that inhibit the insulin secretion. The inhibition is by the somatostatin. Somatostatin. And there is a sympathetic discharge. So there is a alpha adrenergic stimulators. And like the norepinephrine. Or and also the epinephrine. Inhibit insulin the secretion. So alpha adrenergic stimulators like the norepinephrine. Epinephrine they inhibit the insulin secretion. Next is the beta adrenergic blockers. The beta adrenergic blockers also inhibit the insulin secretion. Then the potassium depletion also contributes to the inhibit the insulin secretion. Then comes a thiazide. This also blocks the insulin secretions of phenytoin as well as a treptozosin. The streptozosin and also the alloxan. So all these will inhibit the insulin secretion. There are uh, these are the two prominent uh, diabetogenic chemicals which are used in diabetic research. That is the streptozoxin and the alloxan. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe. Thank you.